So I found this little area after walking around the woodlands for about 40 minutes I suppose. It's quite enclosed here. Got a lot of natural shelter from the wind. Uh, no widow makers about. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking this might be a good place to camp. I just need to find a water source. Now I might end up moving, but uh, just gonna go on a little scout and see if I can find some water. So I do know there's a river and a pond not near here, but not too far. <coughs> But yeah, just with the uh, natural sort of protection I've got here, thinking this might not be too bad. So I've just collected some small kindling, a couple of sticks for when I get my fire going later. I need to keep them off the ground to a certain extent, as much as possible anyway, because the ground's soaking wet. So. Camera. So I'm just making a pot hanger system here. I've got my support in. Fire's gonna go about here. I've got a little uh, backrest here to stop it from tipping up. Just literally, just all that is, just pushed into the ground. Went in nice and easy, luckily. So did the front one. I've just got sort of a uh, flathead screwdriver shaped dubri on the end. So that goes in there, stops it from lifting up. Down there. And what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting a uh, hooking mechanism into that. I've just cut a uh, sort of a line into it, angling up. Now what I'm going to do is just chisel that out. Which 
try and let even it up a little bit so it's so it hangs straight. So that's what we've got. I'll do another one to make it a bit more adjustable. A bit further up. Might be able to come down into the fire a little bit more. I don't know. But yeah, just cutting back up away from the bottom, angling up into it. Once again, just getting up here, getting up in there. That just hangs on the end of there like that. <coughs> So then what I've got is this dobry, a fish, a fish, a fish, a fish discolger. And then that just goes on there like that. Bit of adjustable heat. It shouldn't come off, it can rock about quite freely and should stay on there alright. Not unless you walk into it or anything stupid. Yeah, might move that forward a little bit. Yeah, a bit away, away from that support a bit more. Now yeah, a bit higher up, which is probably better anyway. Put my uh, locking mechanism back down. I don't even know if it needs it really, to be fair. Rule in fact, other than don't stab yourself and die, or don't cut your fingers off, leave no trace. So, I've just got some firewood here. Obviously, this needs to be split down, and I've got no axe. I've got an open L, it's not got a baton through this. If I make, dude sitting down, look at this right there, I can see myself cutting myself here. All right. There's a road over there. Yeah, this is dense enough. <laughs> Needs to be a hardwood because this is going to act as a chisel. Now, when you get Near the end of it, so the angle's like this. You want to come in and uh, sort of flatten it off a little bit, not flatten it, but change the angle.
took a bit of going but it got got There we go. So when I was coming into the woodlands, I got a load of this birch bark. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna make a raft. starting kit. I've got a uh, feather rod in there smothered in charcoal. God, that really has uh, disintegrated that charcoal. It's more like dust now. But uh, let's get some of this. It's a little bit damp. I've been drying it out of my pocket for a few hours. Rip it up, tear it up a bit. Some of that dust there, that's what you want. Oh, good start. I've only got a tiny little ferro rod, but should be or should be enough. It's a bit damp. Got ignition. Wasn't the easiest one I've ever done, but that don't matter. I've got all my twigs that I collected earlier. They've been sitting up in that tree, staying dry instead of being on the floor. That goes on the raft. Just to keep it up to keep the air. Let the air get through it. Well, stopping it from starving itself, basically. Dump all them on. Hope we've got enough water in here for me noodles. Let's put a bit more in just in case. This way a little bit. There we go. So, I'm just going to 
going to have my noodles and chorizo. That's going to be my cutting board. Oh, that's how you want your uh, pot hanger when you want it to boil. In fact, that's how you want it. You want the pot, you want it as close to the top of the fire as you can. I'm not going to get to eat a lot of this. That's boiling already. It's starting to anyway. Struggle to get up there with it. That's a uh Can't beat into the noodles. Living a dream. Boil again quickly. Get my flavours in there. But it's not enough, is it? It's never enough flavour. A load of mixed herbs in there. Got to put some chilli flakes in there. Salt. I know it's bad for you, but I normally use the uh, pink stuff, Himalayan salt, which is apparently good for you. Well, not as bad for you. Lots of vitamins and minerals. I'm just finishing off my grub. That's really good.
I love the way the chorizo infuses with the water. You get chorizo flavoured juice with all the mixed herbs and stuff. For a simple meal. Who says simple <coughs> simple food can't be good? Simple food's the best. Simple food. Nice flavours. Yeah. So good. Alright. Now I've finished that. I'm going to pack up and head home because I've got to go home. It's just one of those scenarios. But I will... Uh, I will be back with another overnighter. I'll go even more lightweight this time. I'll dazzle, dazzle you all with how lightweight I can travel. <laughs> I've never been a lightweight bushcrafter, if I'm honest. So. <clears throat> I might dazzle some of you, or one of you. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know, like, this woods, on the uh, OS map, it says, um, it's open access land but you, I got here I, the other day and I saw it and it said um, rights reserved no public access and I thought well on the OS maps it says it's open access so I'm going for it but when I'm I haven't camped in the woods that I'm not really supposed to be in for a long time where I've got permission to use another woodlands I use that but being here I feel like I'm doing something really bad like I find it's difficult to relax. I'm finding it much more difficult to relax here than what I would at the other woods. I need to go somewhere like I need to go to Scotland. I need to move to Scotland. All that land up there, all open access. Oh, the possibilities are endless, aren't they? So jealous of all you guys who come from Scandinavia or America and you can just go wherever you want. You don't know how lucky you are, you really don't come over here and feels a bit like a prison an outdoor prison I might be overreacting a little bit but yeah it's uh, when when you've got that craving for freedom and nature and it's your favorite thing to do and the law says that you can't damn that's annoying man so you have to stealth camp and whatnot and there's there's so few woodlands in the UK that aren't owned by someone that aren't private land you can't even get on because there's fences and stuff up you go to these places that are open access there's paths everywhere people everywhere dogs running around all you can hear is kids shouting and it's like I come here to get I come here to sort of be alone and get my own thoughts together like, I don't want to be around people I don't know if anyone else gets that it sounds really antisocial but that's exactly how it is for me I just want to be alone sometimes or quite a lot of the time so yeah, it's a pony, isn't it? But anyway, it is what it is, and we make do. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry, it's not been an overnighter, but uh, I will be back with some more videos. I'll try and do some from home. Anyway, yeah, catch it, catch you later. If you can't be good, be good at it. Ta-da. <laughs>